we always end the year with uh, a big New Year's fight, and November's always big, and September, and January is usually the, the, the slowest time of the year for us. So to, to, to kick this year off, coming off the most incredible year ever, um, with a fight like this is awesome. It's fun. You know, we even had a big gap there where we, where we didn't have some fights and had some time off. So to, to start January like this is it's awesome. I'm excited for Saturday too. I am setting out for big goals. I'm gonna kickstart UFC's 2020 year big and I'm gonna continue it, you know. It's gonna be a mega year here uh, at the UFC and, and at McGregor Sports and Entertainment, you know that. <laughs> uh, but I'm very happy. I have a lot of, a lot of exciting things in, in the pipeline and it's, it's damn good to be back. It's damn good. You could definitely say this is the, uh, to date, the toughest battle I've stepped in against and I'm stoked, man, because this is a cowboy. Er, can you fight the big fight? You never make it on the big fight. The biggest one, let's see, huh? Too much, to be honest. I am who I am. I've always been. I'm still... I don't think I've changed too much throughout it, you know? Granted, different opponents, different circumstances, but I'm just... I'm in a position right now where I'm very, very excited to be here, and I'm, I'm very eager to, to, to perform for the fans on January 18th. I've got a solid opponent in front of me and uh, a veteran of the game, and I'm just in a good spot, and that's it. I don't think I've changed or altered or, or you know... Uh, I'm just committed and focused and happy to be here. You would be stupid to think this man doesn't have a wrestling defense or some kind of grappling defense. So for me just to walk in and be like, oh, I'm gonna just take him down and submit him, get a in real life, man. We gotta go in there, we gotta fight our asses off. That's what's gotta happen. I would like that bad title, that, that belt, and then I'd like the gold. You know, for me, the gold is a bit more, has a bit more significance to it, especially since the way the, the BMF fight finished. I thought we were robbed of a classic contest there. I thought it was only kicking into gear rounds four and five. Um, but they're both exciting uh, bouts. I'd say probably the more exciting of the bout would probably be myself versus Jorge from a stylistic standpoint. Uh, Huseman kind of has the similar style of, of, of Habib, you know, the, the sniff the jockstrap style. So, uh, I mean, I'm interested for both, you know. We'll see what happens. Fighting is just what I do. It's, you know, I, I love it to death. I, it's my passion. So, I don't, by saying it's not my everything, I still, I just like to live life so if fun comes into my training i'm gonna go have the fun for sure but every day we train every day we focus this is like this man he hasn't been a year and a half since he's i'm sure he trains almost every single day so it's just what we do it's in our nature we're we're the last dying breed of some some last fighters man so it's cool to uh it's cool to be here and share the odds gone with this man i can read donald you know I, I like him a lot he's a good guy but i can read it i can read donald like a children's book to be honest you know he's a good he's a good fighter he's got some good tricks up his sleeve I know, I know the tricks he has, and I know what he's planning and what he, um, what he hopes to achieve, but we are well prepared, and, you know, we'll see on the night. It's going to be a good night. Oh, man, he can read me, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> Hopefully he's got some hooked on phonics. We'll see what's going on. I don't know.